risky with their group draw. I think he's going to have to face Mo Salah in the Egyptian team, which is easier said than done. Here's Ferrugia, another man who'll be looking for international caps soon enough. Neil Ferrugia, that's a good cross towards Gaffney. It's run through to Clark, and it's in the net. A beautiful finish from Trevor Clark. And Shamrock Rovers break the deadlock in the sixth minute. Ferrugia doing the damage on the right-hand side yet again with another dangerous cross. And when it ran through to Trevor Clark, he rifled the shot to the net. Low pass Wogan for his fifth goal of the season. Super goal. Yeah, it's an absolutely wonderful side. It's great work down here for Ferrugia down the right-hand side. A lovely little flow of the ball in. I think Gaffney just gets a little flick on it to Trevor at the back post. That's a wonderful strike into the far corner. That's exactly what Stephen Bradley would be asking of his winger there to get in at the back post. It's a beautiful strike in. Wogan, no chance. First time finish from... Cleary has a look up to see who's available. Dinks one towards Gaffney at the back post. Gaffney's header, and there it is. It's number two, Richie Tell. From less than a yard out, Shamrock Rovers 2-0 up, and what a well-worked goal again. Cleary with the cross to Gaffney at the back post. A lovely cushion header, and Richie Tell in for the goal to make it 2-0 to Shamrock Rovers. For Tell, it's his fifth goal of the season as well. The hoops are cruising at Tallah Stadium, two up inside 15 minutes yeah he's just so hard to deal with Gaffney you don't know whether he's going to go into it. front post in the six yard box or peel away at the back you just see here it's a brilliant ball in from Cleary just peels away at the back post it's a beautiful little nod down it's a brilliant finish for me for not brilliant finish it's, it's in from the yard from Richie but yeah all the work here done by Gaffney you can see him pointing at the back post lovely little flow of the ball great little knockback by Gaffney and a cool finish from Richie and that they see it as a long term thing and are willing to invest in infrastructure as well. Oh, it's a lovely through ball, it's in the net, but the offside flag is up to deny Richie Towell a second goal and Rovers a third goal. And the flag went up straight away. Let's have a look if we can tell from this replay. Yeah, he's just off, I think. It's a good call from the Allfield and everybody at Galway. Great to see them back in the top division where they belong, really. Lovely stadium down there, great people. Here's Poom, Gaffney, Ferrugia, stayed on his feet, Neil Ferrugia. Johnny Kenny shot, oh, what a finish, Johnny Kenny, 3-0. Well, that is what he is capable of. Again, it's Ferrugia causing the problems down the right flank. And Johnny Kenny with a smashing goal to make it 3-0 for Shamrock Rovers inside a half an hour. He'll have enjoyed that. Yeah, it's an absolutely brilliant piece of work from Ferrugia again to stay on his feet, tippy toe down the line, pull the back. It must be something they're working on trying. They've done it every time. Great ball from Gaffney. He's involved in everything. Brilliant run from Ferrugia. Does well to stay up here. Sees Kenny with the pullback, and it's an absolutely glorious finish into the top corner for Kenny. Do him the world of good. The only thing that was missing from that goal was a full stand behind the goal, but what a great finish from the young Sligo man. Yeah, it's brilliant. The intended target here's Gaffney again. He seems to be at the heart of everything, as you say, Barry. Gaffney goes one way, then the other. Clark. And Kenny didn't get a clean touch on that. Oh, a block at the back post as Poom was coming in. I think it was Connor Kane who made the block. So close to goal number four for Shamrock Rovers. Gaffney was offside. The flag is up. But Rovers are just peppering the draw to goal now. Another dangerous ball in, this time from Trevor Clark. Yeah, it's a great ball in. It's, it's the problem for Gaffney is he probably wants to be on the end of his own cross. By well, Warren Davies to find Deegan. Davies making his way in towards the back post. Robinson is in front of him and his header is wide, but that's the best series of passes that draw have put together in this first half yeah you can hear it from the bench on the side move it move it quickly it's, it's the best pitch in ireland for moving it quickly and once they put a bit of speed on it they open drovers up a little bit it's, it's a deep cross and foley as you can see here to send this in towards the back post it's going to run through to gaffney Gaffney sends another ball in towards the penalty spot. Lopez is in the box. The shot deflected. Oh, it's off the upright. And Cleary and a fine save by Wogan to keep it at 3-0. Real chance for 4-0 there for Rovers. Yeah, Pico looked like he could have gone down. He stays up, though, but it's brilliant for Wogan to get up on his feet nice and quick. You just see it here for Pico. Flicks it inside and pushing the back. But a deflection off the, off the upright. Cleary might have done a little better, but it's brilliant for Wogan. Cleary. For Ferrugia. 
A chance for Ferrugia, it's number four. A lovely crisp finish, his performance deserves a goal and he's got it now, just two and a half minutes into the second half. Neil Ferrugia, as the ball fell to him, drilled it home for his fourth goal of the season. First goal he scored this season that wasn't against Bohemians. And it makes it Shamrock Rovers four. Draw to nil and Ferrugia is just unstoppable. Yeah, that's the icing on the cake for his performance this evening. Great little play from, from Dan Cleary, doesn't get cleared properly. It's another great strike on the left foot from Ferrugia, similar to Trevor Clark's on the other side in the first half. He gets himself into these lovely positions and obviously having both feet is, is a big asset in that area of the box. It's it's that knock, the ball in behind from Trevor Clark for Gaffney. Great running from Gaffney again. Jones making a good block, but Gaffney still has it. Had a look up, Gaffney. The crowd ooing and eyeing, and that's why, because it's a fifth goal for Shamrock Rovers. Gaffney, the supplier, boom, the scorer. It's 5 0, and that was prime. Rory Gaffney, and boom. Doesn't score too many with his head, but he's done it this time. It's Shamrock Rovers, 5. It's Drogheda nil, and it's party time for those fans. That's yeah, a brave man taking off the top there in this goal. <laughs> we, we talked about Gaffney earlier about how unselfish he is and what he brings to this team. This is a pure example of it. As I said earlier, he'd be, he's looking to be the one to get on the end of his own crosses at this stage, but he's turned him inside out, onto his left, back onto his right, and it's a great ball in. That's a good finish from Poom. T. Hoare. Perugia now. Oh, into the area for Rouge. Ah, it's oh. just past the post. He is like dynamite tonight. Yeah, for Rouge. Yes, it's not just his speed on the feet, it's his intelligence as well. You can see here, he just draws players in and pulls back and uses them as a guide to kind of... Foley on the near side. Surrounded by three green and white jerseys again, Foley, and a lovely bit of skill there from Razi to get away from Dara Noon. Looking for the one-two with Kenny, the return pass, just a little short, maybe, oh, it's off the top of the bar, out for another corner, saving tackle in the end by Evan Weir, but lovely play by Naj Razi. Yeah, it was gorgeous, a little, little intricate play here, a little one-two with Darren Noon and Razi, it's, it's beautiful, it's a last-ditch tackle as well, and one of them, at some point in the future, hopefully, that's a lovely ball from Hoare. To find the run of power, great touch from power into the area. He goes, he handled the ball though. It's not going to count. The referee has pinged him for that handball. It's so unlucky. It's such brilliant play from the ball in and the touch initially. It's, it's deflected back up off, and we'll see here now. He cut inside really well, cut inside again. Yeah, it's, it's probably a handball, a little bit harsh. The full time whistle. It's another step on the road to a four in a row for Shamrock Rovers. An important three points for Stephen Bradley's side. They've won this one by five goals to nil. Goals from Trevor Clark, Richie Tell, Johnny Kenny, Neil Ferrugia, and Marcus Boom in a very comprehensive victory for the men in green and white. And from all of us here at Tallah Stadium for tonight, where Shamrock Rovers have won by five goals to nil. It's bye-bye for now.